Hello friends. Here we are going to discuss the degree of freedom for between the group and for within the group. So if you see here Excel first calculates in tool pack for between the group and then within the group. So between the group by this word we mean between the column so here we have four column so n minus 1 is 4 minus 1 equals 3 so it is 3 here now for within the group means within the column that will be rows so here row is 4 so 4 minus 1 equals 3 and in 3 you have to count all sorry 3 minus 1 equals 2 so in 2 you have to count all that is 8 Similarly, if you transpose this table, so this is column, so 3, the 3 minus 1 equals 2, so first between the group is 2, now within the group row is 4, the 4 minus 1 equals 3, so in these 3 you have to count total, that is 3 into 3 equals 9, and suppose in column there is asymmetry here, in this case here there is asymmetry so you have to ignore this and deduct full symmetrical row so for here between the group it is 4 column the so 4 minus 1 equals 3 see so here degree of freedom is 3 between the group now within the group that is row so number of row is 20 but this is asymmetrical so you just count this here in excel number of cells that contains data so field cells are 69 so out of this 69 this count 69 you have to deduct one full row that is one full row means four reading so deduct one full row so 69 minus 4 will be 65 so this is within the group in f table you will refer first this thing between the group in horizontal it is 3 and in vertical it is 65 so this value you will have from the table and for t test degree of freedom is within the group that is 65 so when you write this first you write in heading degree of freedom then alpha or alpha by 2 depending upon one tail or two tail and for formula it is reverse first you will type alpha and then you will write degree of freedom Okay, thank you.